And that's it. Full time. Carrots, get your uh, match reactions ready. Uh, people that don't know what it is, it's basically you just send in a maximum, I think he said three minutes, I think he said, but um, you don't even need to be that long. It'll be 30 seconds. Just give us a reaction. What did you think of today's game? Who's your man of the match? Why shouldn't Godfrey be your man of the match as well? Mm. Um, tell us who you're happy, you're disappointed. Is it point, two points dropped? Is it a good point on the board? Let us know what it is and send it to Turfcast Podcast. Uh, but get in touch with the page for more information. So, everyone, get your comments in now and I'll read them out. What did you think of today's game? Uh, two goalkeepers for England as well playing. Who did the better, who did the better saves? Dash can't get around this camera, man, no matter how much he's trying. <laughs> uh, that was an awkward scene, wasn't it? And his head is going, fucking... You know, Ashley Barnes starting an argument with Godfrey. How'd you get that man at match, Dick? <laughs> yeah. Pope and Pickford having a chat there. Probably saying, do you want to give me that number one now or later on when we get to England? <laughs> but yeah, get your comments in. I'm going to read them all out in a couple of minutes. I'll start with you, Elvis slash Jared. Yeah. Uh, as we look at the table, Everton are now seventh, played 11, one more game than everybody else around them with 17 points. It's a joint fifth. Uh, and Burnley are... Equal games now, six. So we're one point off safety. Uh, we have got a game in hand after the rest of the teams play this weekend. So we just need to hope that the results are in our favour this season. Massive weekend ahead. Go on, Elvis. Man of the uh, man of the match and your response to the game. Matt Lawton. Lawton, man of the match, right? Go on. Honestly, every, like like what you said, everything what come his way, he dealt with it. You know what I mean? He didn't panic. Yeah. He kept, you know, was, I thought he was absolutely brilliant. I thought the whole team, the whole performance from the team was brilliant to that. I'm gutted we didn't win. But again, it's an improvement in it that we seem to, you know, from the, like, from the Palace game even, like to this game now, ignoring last week, you know, we need to be coming back into that Burnley way of playing. So surely only in the long run it can benefit us. Yeah, absolutely agree with that. I'm, um, Yeah, I thought we were brilliant today. I thought the whole, the whole, like you said, the whole team performance. But uh, yeah, they're just, they're just interviewing um, Rachel Brown Finnis, who's saying that you know, because obviously she's a Burnley fan, being from Burnley, she says she's happy with the performance. Uh, I agree, De- delighted with the performance, brilliant performance. Another day. Well, does like you said, I think you summarised it brilliantly. There's no, it's going back to that Burnley way. It's, it's what we're about. Uh, we should have won. Confidence is creeping back in, but Wood yeah. should have scored two. Someone commented earlier, agree with that. Well, um, probably better than that last well, chance. shot at the end, yeah. But we've got to look at all sides of it, mate. And Port did three fantastic oh, saves yeah. to keep us in that game. We could have had zero Shirley points. Surely <laughs> Southgate should walk away from that and have some thinking to do. But knowing Southgate, yeah. you, probably won't. you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. I think that... Um, they're interviewing Brady's Robbie Brady, obviously goal scorer. I think we've just got to look at it and think it is. It's another point on the board. We could have easily lost. It. I know we're looking at a good performance. Oh, we should. These are the games we should be winning, and I agree. But equally, we could have had no points if it weren't for the defensive displays. Uh, my man of the match for me is probably Lord, and I think it was. Uh, it's the best I've seen him play since that Arsenal game where he, he were ten out of ten again. Um, yeah. But he's, he's had his fitness problems, as, as we know, since then. And, and that looked like a full fit yeah. version of Matt Law. And I thought he was brilliant. Like, Brown did it. well. It does look like yeah. the team's creeping into that full fitness now. Um, yeah, Brown did and, well. Like, yeah, with, me did well. Being, with me being back and what we were saying about a change in just in defensive, uh, with the defence, is now they're all comfortable with each other. They know each other player, don't they? So there's not as much. And even with uh, Westwood. Like you know, playing with Benson, he's not used to playing with Benson. So like, and this week he's probably more comfortable and confident with having um Brownell by his side. Yeah, well, it's me big family feuds because uh you know my uncles are an Everton fan. Um, being from the Scouse land, I'll just read out a few comments. Mark Howard said, "Great point, and if we can keep these performances going, ignoring the City game, this the wins will come." Definitely, hundred percent. That that's what I'm trying to say. That it, it were a good performance, big improvement. Look, more confidence from Lynn. Um, 
Thanks, guys. So, see you later, Ruth, for you going. But, yeah, thank you very much. No yeah, problem at all. Uh, Robert Benson, just join you guys. Another nervy watch. We could have won. Narrow margins. Not a foul on Westwood, but um, could have been given to other teams. Yeah, I agree with that. It's one of them. I said this in narrow margins with the foul comment. Um, there was a position in the second half where we won two fouls from Westy dropping. And I bet everyone was saying, like, brilliant work. well done, pal. But he, so he just didn't work on that one. Um, so, yeah, I agree with that. Kieran said he should have put a bet on because he did say 1-1 at the beginning. You did, Kieran. It uh, doesn't sound like you did put the bet on, though, mate. Something like that one. Uh, on the YouTubes, we got Richard saying, good game, that. Probably a fair result. We could have nicked a bit uh, with a bit of luck. Both keepers on good form. Encouraging to see us creating plenty of on was carrots. Um, Johnny Tate, a couple of points. Oh, here we go. Thank <laughs> God we have Pope slash McNeil and Wood needs to get there. Oh, sorry. Thank God we have Pope. Second point, I presume, is McNeil and Wood need to get their head out of their arse. Uh, and Brady is player of the year now. <laughs> So, uh, well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you've got any more comments, get them in before we leave. Uh, tell us who your man of the match is on the later on post that uh, Joel will do on Turfcast uh, socials. I will give him a ring now and let him know. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Elvis. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for having us back on. No, you're welcome, mate. Enjoy doing it with you. But uh, I will end the broadcast now, uh, and I'll just read out Kieran's Phillips and then press end. So, Good point. We have took that. Be- we would have took that before the game. We did enough to win it. Build on the confidence now, and the wins will come. See you later, guys. <laughs>